Dr. Manny Pico from JRSPillVet and Polly.com. This is Tuck. We did a video on him yesterday. He had an obstruction surgery. Um, he came to us because he's, well, five months old. He was a rescue dog, so we'd worked with him formally as part of the rescue. Um, he came to us because although he presented at the emergency clinic, the estimate that they gave was $4,500, and his owners couldn't afford that. Come here, sweetie. So they called us where he had had his puppy stuff done. Um, he had his obstruction surgery done yesterday and he was neutered and his bill was less than $900. So a pretty significant difference between us, a general practitioner and an emergency clinic. You know, certainly if your dog is stable enough to wait overnight, assuming that you present in the evening, um, it might be a good idea to call your vet if things are cost prohibitive at the emergency clinics. You know, certainly they do the best they can and they do a very good job and some of these obstructions are absolutely emergencies, but he was very stable and very comfortable. Um, so he did well waiting till morning and then they came here and got his surgery done here at a much more affordable price. So things to think about, if your dog needs an emergency, call your vet, ASAP, try to get in as soon as possible. If that's not possible, go to the emergency clinic, ask them what your options are, if it's cost prohibitive. You know, time is of the essence in some of these cases, so you might be better off spending the money and doing it there. Um, but if it is cost prohibitive, please talk to your emergency room veterinarian about being transferred to your primary care physician, a ASAP. Um, he is up this morning, he's 24 hours post-op, he's up, he's eating, he's happy, he's doing really, really well. Long term for him, because he's five months old, we're just gonna make sure that he doesn't chew stuff that he can swallow in pieces because we don't want him to obstruct again. I'm gonna have Laura come in. He's got his pet shirt on because he's got a large abdominal incision. So we'll just show you what his incision looks like. Nice big long incision and then he was also neutered. So this guy is doing really well and we expect he will continue to do really well. He'll go home with antibiotics, a special feeding plan, and something for pain and inflammation and an e-collar or his medical pet shirt. If you have any questions, you can find me anytime here at JRSVillVet or probably.com. Take care and be careful with your puppies. Thanks.